All right, stars and galaxies, day four of four. Okay, our unit, stars and galaxies, topic galaxies and the Big Bang. Objectives, day four of four. I will be able to define a galaxy and classify the three different types of galaxies. Today, you will understand the Big Bang theory or model and the evidence supporting it. Okay, quick write. Earth orbits the sun, but does our sun and our solar system orbit anything? How old do you think the universe is? Millions, billions, trillions of years old? What sort of shape do you think the Milky Way galaxy has? Okay, write that in your quick write for five points. Please pause this. If you need more time, I'm going to continue. Galaxies. We are on Earth all going around the sun. However, does the sun orbit anything? Our sun, our sun like star is one among many in our galaxy, among billions in our galaxy. So if we define a galaxy, a galaxy is a group of billions of stars, gas, and dust held together by gravity. So each one of these here is a picture of a galaxy. And each galaxy contains billions of stars in it, in gas and dust, and it's held together by gravity. When we look into deep space, we see billions upon billions of galaxies. And these billions of galaxies here all contain billions of stars. So these galaxies are shining brightly because they contain billions of stars. Okay, gas and dust all as well, and they're held together by gravity. Okay, so each galaxy contains billions of stars. So space is made mostly really up of stars and galaxies for the most part. There's four types of galaxies. So once again, a galaxy is a group of billions of stars, gas and dust held together by gravity, and we classify galaxies into four types. We have spiral. These are disc-shaped galaxies, like a Frisbee or a CD, di CD compact disc, right? Or DVD, right? They're disc-shaped, they're flat, okay? And they have these spiral arms. And then we have barred spiral. Same as other spirals, they're disc shaped, they're flat, okay? But they have this bar running through the middle of it, okay? And then we have these elliptical or oval shaped galaxies. These are the most common galaxies, but they're made of billions of stars, okay? And they are kind of round or spherical in shape, shaped like a football, if it helps you think of that way okay kind of round or oval in shape okay elliptical galaxies the most common and then finally we have these irregular these really funky kind of weird shaped galaxies okay they're still galaxies because they're made up of billions of stars and they're held together by gravity but they are not very common okay and then like i said they have an irregular shape to them okay so what is a galaxy be sure to list the four types here Okay, what is a galaxy goes in your question section? Everything under the question always goes in your answer section. Okay, please read the passage. Use the answer bank to determine which word best completes the sentence here. Go ahead and pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. Okay, so our Milky Way galaxy contains about 500 billion stars, we think. Okay, it's hard to know because who's going to count that high, right? So, but we know it contains billions of stars. The visible disk of stars is about 100,000 light years across. The sun is located 30,000 light years from its center. So here's our sun and our solar system. We're about 30,000 light years from the center. Remember, the speed of light. It takes light to get from the center to our sun 30,000 years, traveling at 900,000 kilometers a second. Okay, it's very fast. But even light, the fastest thing in our universe, takes 30,000 years to get out to our sun. So, based on a distance of 30,000 light years and a speed of 235 kilometers a second, the sun orbits around the center of our Milky Way galaxy okay, once every 240 million years. So it takes our sun and our solar system and our planets to go around this Milky Way galaxy okay, once every 240 million years. Okay, we're kind of like a carousel though as we go around. As we go around, we go up and down, okay? But we do we orbit the center of our Milky Way galaxy here. The Milky Way is usually classified as a spiral galaxy. It is difficult to know for sure because it is impossible to see our galaxy from the outside. 
This picture here is an artist's picture. It is an artist's picture of what we think our galaxy may look like. We don't know what it looks like because we can't escape our Milky Way galaxy and look back on it and say, oh, that's what it looks like. We can't even get to Mars. So to be able to get outside of our galaxy is, for now, given our technological limitations, is impossible. Okay, But we believe it's a barred spiral with this little bar in the middle, Okay, based on the evidence of what we can tell. So all of the stars you can see in our night sky belong to the Milky Way galaxy. So at night, when you look at all the stars, they are part of the billions of stars that make up this galaxy. Okay. So here's our Milky Way galaxy. Okay. Our sun is one star among 500 billion. Okay. And if we place it, it goes right there. And it's about 30,000 light years from our galactic center. Right. So we're far from the center of our of our galaxy, which is good because in the center, it's very dangerous in here. There's a supermassive black holes and there's a lot of stars in here. We, we're out here in the country, which is good. We, we don't want to be near the center. Our Milky Way galaxy is 100,000 light years across. So the fastest thing in our universe takes light, takes, it takes light 100,000 years to travel across from end to end, okay, from edge to the edge. So, what is the Milky Way galaxy? Okay, for your notes, please write this question down. And below the question, write all this information in your answer bank and make sure you fill in the words using the answer bank. Go ahead and pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. All right, the Big Bang Theory. It is believed our billion, it is believed our universe formed 10 to 20 billion years ago. All matter existed in an incredibly hot, dense state of hydrogen and helium. Okay. After it exploded, it expanded, and gravity made all this matter clump together, like into galaxies, basically. Okay. So gravity pulled matter together, creating stars and galaxies. And after it exploded, though, it expanded and it cooled into stars and galaxies. Okay. The Big Bang Theory or model states that all matter in the universe was, re was released excuse me, in a massive expansion of time and space about 13.7 billion years ago. Okay. So, 13.7 billion years ago, time started. Time started when all matter began to expand outward and fill an empty universe with stars and galaxies. So our universe was empty. There was nothing in it, just empty space. And then 13.7 billion years ago, boom, an explosion set off. Matter quickly clumped together. Gravity pulled matter together to make you, to make galaxies, okay, which are made up of billions of stars, okay. Galaxies and stars continue to expand and moving farther and farther apart and cooling in the process. So, what is the Big Bang Theory or model? Okay, please, once again, write this down for your notes. Question goes in the question section. Everything under the question goes in your answer section right in here. So, write all this down. Use the answer bank to complete the passage here. Determine which word best completes the sentence. Go ahead and pause this while you write. Okay, I'm going to move on. Okay, we're almost done. So evidence for the Big Bang Theory. I'm telling you that the, the universe began 13.7 billion years ago, but how do we know this? What evidence do we have to support this? Well, evidence for the Big Bang okay, Theory came through two huge pieces of evidence, critical pieces of evidence, in fact. Redshift in cosmic background radiation in the form of radio waves and microwaves. Okay. What is redshift? Redshift showed that all galaxies and stars are moving away from each other. And in fact, expanding. So the universe is expanding, getting bigger. Like an explosion, right? An explosion, everything moves outward. Okay. So if objects are expanding, then at one point, they must have been closer together. Okay, so here's how it works. Okay, look at this animation real quick as it starts over right now. Okay, we see light from a star that has a fixed position to us like this. 
Okay. If stars weren't moving, they would send us yellow light. Okay. And if stars were moving closer to us, this is called the Doppler effect, they would be sending us compressed blue light. But that's not what we see. Things are moving away from us. We see red shift, red light. So when stars and galaxies are moving away from us, they send us red light. Okay. So we see light from a star that has a fixed position to us like this. It's not moving. But we don't see that, right? What we see is red light. Because all objects, when we look into deep space, are sending us red light. That tells us that they are moving away from us. Light is expanding okay, into these greater wavelengths. So that is red shift, telling us that the universe is expanding. Okay, And another thing, that another piece of evidence, when scientists look out into space, they detect cosmic background radiation left over from the Big Bang. About 1% of the static you see on your TVs is static left over from the Big Bang explosion. This radiation is just drifting in the background of space and is, like I said, one of the reasons we get static on our TVs and radios. It's 1% in fact. So this microwave cosmic background radiation is radiation that has cooled from gamma radiation. Over 13.5 billion years, gamma radiation has cooled and has become this background microwave radiation, just drifting through space. Okay, We don't know where it came from. It is believed that it's left over from the Big Bang Theory. Okay, So, about 1%, let's see this little tiny bit of static right here on your TV, is from the Big Bang Theory. Okay, the Big Bang explosion, excuse me. So, when it exploded, okay, the Big Bang Theory released high energy gamma waves. These are high energy deadly radiation, if you remember, right? Okay, well, as the universe expanded, these high energy gamma waves became stretched out, kind of like an accordion, right? And after 10 billion years, these waves became even more stretched out. Okay, eventually becoming microwaves and radio waves. These microwaves and radio waves make up the background radiation scientists have detected drifting through space. And it's okay, left over from the Big Bang. So what evidence supports the Big Bang theory? Red shift, excuse me, red blank from distant stars and galaxies, cosmic background radiation in the form of blank and radio waves. Get this down for your notes, okay? And go ahead and pause it. If you need more time, I'm going to move on. Okay, that's the last one. Make sure you do a good job. Okay, go ahead and pause it now. Okay, summarize. You can do mine or you can always do your own. I would strongly recommend doing your own, especially if I don't give you enough information. You need that summary box filled up for 20 points. Just a reminder. Okay, thanks for listening. Congratulations. You're done with all four days of notes. Okay, you are ready to ace the tests. <laughs> All right, have a great night, and we'll see you next time. Go ahead and pause it.